Hi all, Chris here, and I had a stroke of genius at midnight last night. Well, I wouldn't call it genius, but I'm kind of surprised it took me so long to figure it out. But you may remember this, it's a um, RF output set-top box I had hooked up to my Pi. However, with a little twist, I've got two boosters and a divider hooked up to it. Along with a small transmission aerial, and I can now transmit my own analog signal of sorts. I need a better antenna and um, better boosters, but it's definitely a start. I've got it hooked up to my my Sony Vo um, with a coaxial, so it should get crystal clear reception or crystal clear image I mean but unfortunately there's a nasty bit of a storm hanging overhead so it's kind of buggered up our television reception but yeah as I said before I need a better antenna and booster so I can get so I can transmit a stronger signal, but you know, I'll see if I can find some good equipment in any of the op shops. And it's actually not that hard to do. I've just got the um you've just got the antenna in from the from the wall over there. And then um in the RF out to T V I have that cable running, it connects into this divider and well it's a joint divider and booster so one one coaxial runs to my Sony the other runs up to the antenna and transmits it and that's received by the other tellies so it's pretty simple and it's a I'm actually kind of surprised it took me so long to figure it out but for some reason I usually seem to have my Strokes of genius at night, or oh, at midnight, so I don't know why. And I'm also thinking about putting an old VCR player I've got hooking up as well so I can um, record shows with it. It's a good little working VCR, I got it off one of my neighbours at our old house before we moved. So, Oop. there's a nice little cockroach there. Very good rid of him. Uh, yeah, so there's also a few other uses for a VCR because it's got the coaxial, but I can't remember. But there are some other uses in conjunction with vintage televisions. So, yeah, so it does need a bit of work, but I've got these all tuned up and this one I've got set so um, it receives the signal on channel 1 and and this one it's just still on the, um, it's still a ultra high frequency um, transmission but I'm considering getting a V uh, um, VHF modulator because two of my TVs, my um, little Philips model KA910 and my um, AWAP1 are VHF only, so I'll see how that goes. But luckily, luckily, those two over there and most TVs, even this little one. Um, pick up the UHF, so I'll see what I can get sorted out. But anyways, this is something you might want to look into if you collect old televisions and only have one set top box. So, yeah, cheers, Chris.